For some reason, especially in this back half of pregnancy, even though I'm like very over it, I wake up with like a smile on my face, like, I'm so blessed. <laughs> and the, almost the first thought was like, thank you, God. I do not wake up a positive Polly. <laughs> I have to actively go through a gratitude checklist to kind of format how the day is going to go. If I don't do that, then it's very easy for me to go negative. You know who you're suddenly reminding me of? Uh huh. For some reason, you're Daniel Ricardo. Daniel Ricardo? Yeah. He doesn't have a mustache. He doesn't, but I've never thought that before until- Until the mustache? Yeah. Well, eat it up. Check. One, two. I good? Are you good? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna bump you up. You talk, talk so quiet. Oh my goodness. I talk too fast, I talk too quiet. You're like, hi. Yeah, so we're just gonna talk. That's not at all how I talk. I'm talking at a normal volume now. I was talking quietly before. Anyway, um, Pierre. All right. What? I feel like I need to call you Pierre. Is that my alter ego now? Yes. It's your mustached alter ego. For those who can't see, um, he has a I mustache. Was, I meant to literally just trim my beard, <laughs> and the guard went down to all the way, like, to one it was i was supposed to i, I usually turn my beard around like four or three and a half oh on really the guard oh and it I mean, still for have whatever reason shadow. when i put on the guard i think i accidentally just like jumped the probably the line or the thing that like makes it a little bit longer or shorter or whatever and Oopsie. it went all the way down to one and i started i was like oh shoot well, I guess I'm I guess I'm doing this. So then I, heard I just him went gasp in the bathroom and was like, that's not a good sound for the bathroom when you're shaving. <laughs> and then I decided, well, what the heck? That wasn't my intention sure. right away in the beginning. Yeah. I just like was doing the neck and I, I did everything and then I was like, <laughs> honestly, not a terrible look. And since it's our anniversary today, uh-huh. I thought maybe, you know, to spice things up. <laughs> it's been 4 years, so, you know, I don't want to don't want a relationship to get boring the 39 week pregnant belly isn't spicy enough (laughs) you know i thought maybe this would help (laughs) induce some labor for you (laughs) so yeah we'll see we'll see how long it lasts it's not that it looks bad it was just it's very it was very startling very startling because you just look different yeah i'll give it i'll give it 24 hours and see how i feel see like if i'm walking if I'm out and about and people are well, like, are, whoa, nice you are, mustache. You are going out tonight with Charles, so I you'll am, have so a, if I a have place to test it. A hundred compliments, maybe. <laughs> but for, for anyone else, it's just like, oh, that must be how he looks all the time. Know. You know? Yeah, so they don't know, know any different. Whereas I'm like, it, so inside they're like, wow, stranger? look at that cool dude. Yeah. Yeah. So here it is. The new, and I don't know, improved. I just have never known anyone who, obviously people that have a mustache all the time, it's like they have a mustache. Yeah. But some people who try out mustaches, and then you look back on like, oh, that's when I was trying out having a mustache. It's always like, well, thank God you I've got rid of that. I've only known my dad as, uh, as having a mustache. I've never, ever, ever seen him without a mustache. Well, yeah. So then He's he always had just crazy. a mustache. Not a beard, just yeah. a mustache. Yeah. And so I'm like... Like, oh, I, I can see how that, how that happens. Uh-huh. And then, and then that just becomes your look and then you just do that. Maybe you're reminding me of your dad because you're reminding me of someone and I couldn't really? place it. Maybe it's your dad. Yeah, maybe it is. You know, somebody else, uh, John, John and Alex. Yeah. Like John. Right. Uh, I know, like I've only seen him in, with a mustache. He, he looks, looks great with a mustache. But it's like, it's all, it's, it's And I feel you, like it'd be weird to see you know. him without one. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you look, I, John, I'm sure you'd look great <laughs> either way. But I've only seen him with a mustache and he looks really good. Mm-hmm. Whereas well, I've never seen you with like, a mustache. No, I know. <laughs> they kind of like came back. It was like, right? I, I don't know if they ever went away, to be honest. Can't say maybe, I, maybe, I followed the mustache trend. I'm yeah. not sure that It was I'm, like the mullet. It well, was like, it, and it was a, a combination of the two. It's like mustache and mullet. Oh, sure. I guess that is a thing. That, yeah. that like look uh-huh, came back. Uh-huh. You're right. Is that, what is that? Is that 80s? When is that? 70s? I, 80s, 60s? I think. 80s? Mullets, I think, are 80s? I think so. I think 80s. Uh, so, well, yeah, it's a Please don't look. grow a mullet. I'm not going to grow a mullet. I don't know if I even could. I probably yeah. could, but I don't want to. Don't take the time. I really just don't want to do that. No. But the mustache might be a new thing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Baby and a mustache is a lot of change. 
It is. Can you imagine? Oh, our baby is going to only know me as a must with a mustache. That cannot. I, that cannot be. And then I, when I shave it, he'll be like, "What? Where's my dad?" That what cannot be. Because yeah. no. Well, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Well, happy anniversary, babe. Happy anniversary. It's been four years. Four years of marriage. It's gone by very four years of marriage. so fast, and we've, yet... We've been together for eight and a half, Yeah, going on nine, um, which is... It is crazy. I'm like, that's... You know, nine, nine years. It'll be like nine years in, I don't know, January. January. Mm-hmm. Um, that's... It sounds like a long time, but it's gone by so fast and a lot has happened. A lot has happened. A lot has happened. Like when we met, we were, we were, uh, you know, like struggling actors, as they say. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what, they, what, what they say, but like. Whatever that means. Yeah. Meaning, well, I mean, we were just like, we were working like dogs just yeah. to like make ends meet yeah. and we were broke and. We were, we, you know, we each had roommates. You were working two or three jobs and crying at your paycheck <laughs> when you got it because it was so low. I was working, you know, two jobs. I was working in a service industry, but, and then also did some catering on the side and then auditioning and, um, you know, just getting by and then just the thinking thing. about who we were as a couple too mm-hmm. is crazy. Like we would have, we, would not be here today. We would not have made it <laughs> if it weren't mess. for just like working ourselves and, and counseling honestly really saved us. Yeah. Um, we did break up for 24 hours. <laughs> if you want I uh, did we tell about, did we talk about well, that story? Probably. If not, here's so. a refresher. <laughs> um, Sarah went off on tour. So we came back, we met on the beauty and the beast tour, national tour. That's how we met performing. And then we came off of that. We were like, let's see what this relationship really is. Mm -hmm. Because we thought maybe it was just going to be a showmance. Showmance. Came back to New York. And we're like, okay, this is working out. Yeah, we're hanging. And then Elf. Yeah. I booked another tour. Yeah, she booked the Elf tour. And then I went off on that tour. And then went off on that. And when she went off on that, that's when I was kind of like freaking out a little bit. Because I... Freaking out a little bit. I had not been in like a a long relationship really before really ever ever i mean the longest relationship was in high school and that was like eight months i don't think it even reached a year okay um and then college was a few months and it it was just i never and it was always on my side it was like always my fault because i was scared of i think i was scared of commitment and i always had the the thought of like well uh maybe there's somebody even better for me yeah you know and then i was always like "Uh, is this the right choice right am i settling Am I so, is there yeah. something, is which is, there? you know, it sounds horrible, but it was just like what was, was happening mm-hmm. in, in my life and in, in my, that, that current brain. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then you had like some holiday party. I yeah. Think? We had our, like we had our, like a Christmas party. Yeah. And there was, company Christmas um, party. alcoholic beverages involved oh, yeah, on was, her end. I was definitely inebriated yes. for sure. Yeah. Which um that great probably time, great time to have a serious discussion about your relationship <laughs> yeah yeah definitely make sure you're Don't liquored recommend. up before yeah. <laughs> you have a really like <laughs> serious and probably a you know uncomfortable and transparent conversation uh-huh. that's always good to do you know when uh, emotions are heightened so we did that over facetime and i was like i i don't know i might be a rebound or something dumb like that and, well, we, we have right? talked about this because you were like, you don't know when you're going to want to get married. And oh I'm yeah, like, that was my excuse. And I was like, what the frig? <laughs> what is yeah, that? Yeah, basically I was, I was trying to, like, you know. Like we're just dating. Trying to blame her basically. Uh-huh, trying to push me away. Yeah. I was like, you don't want to get married right now? You crazy? What no. are you talking about? Yeah. And so then we broke up for 24 hours. We did. She was like, well, then like, what's the point of like doing this? Like, it's just like. And, and then we were, there was a lot of tears, a lot of tears on both, <laughs> end, both tears ends. Tears over FaceTime. And then the next morning was like, hey, can we like maybe hold off on breaking up yeah, over like, FaceTime yeah, and like can, have a conversation in person? Yes. Like, can we at least do this in person? Like, that was so lame. Also, I was going to be home in like a week. I was like so close to being home from the tour. Right, right, right. Yeah. Um, and then right around that time, we, we got like connected to some good mentors yeah. in our life and- 
people and, and then also counselors that helped us kind of work through our bad crap. habits and crap <laughs> and like childhood scripts and different things that we were just like living out of that we we didn't realize we just mm-hmm. became more self-aware it's mm-hmm. not like that it's not like they just like fix you you know it's no. just about kind of becoming aware of why you're reacting the way you're reacting right. and why you're operating uh, and, and responding to certain uh-huh. uh, things like you are and starting to realize patterns in yeah, your life right. where it's like oh I've done this in three relationships I've done, or I've done this with friends or, you know, whatever it may be, the ways that we try to push people away or create distance from people when we're starting to feel close or whatever it may be. Mm-hmm. We all have our, our things, but starting to actually bring awareness to those patterns where you can then be like, okay, so why is this my pattern? How do I stop it? Yeah. And that, I feel like that was big for both of us. Yeah. Big time. So then, so then we just ended up we staying just together, ended up staying together and, and working we through our, our, <laughs> our stuff. And now here we are. Yeah. I mean, but it's crazy to think about where we were, who we were yeah. at that time. And now where we are uh, today and we're now having a baby. I know. And you know, we, we have like businesses together Yeah. and it's like, it's such a beautiful thing, but like, you know, even through that, it, it wasn't just like this big uphill battle. No. It's like you, you, we had a, you know, we went through a miscarriage and, you know, but everything has made us closer and I think just stronger in our relationship as well as our faith because of the things that we've also gone through. You know who you're suddenly reminding me of? Uh-huh. Though it just in your profile it made me think of even though you don't really Is it Orange is the new black guy? No. Oh, I've gotten that so many times. Uh I forgot I don't know the actor's name. He's like Master Chief in Halo. Yeah. He's in a couple other things. I know who you're talking about, but I don't know yeah. his name either. No, and he doesn't even He's not he a doesn't great even person in Orange is, is the new black. He so. doesn't even really have a mustache, but for some reason you're Daniel Ricardo. Daniel Ricardo? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know something about your your profile, profile? that I was looking at. He just doesn't then. have a mustache. He doesn't. He has facial hair, and sometimes his mustache is like thicker than the rest of his facial hair. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't. I literally was just like, I don't think he has a mustache, so I'm not sure why no, you're reminding me of him. Is it just because like I'm well, like, I'm look. a lot more like clean shaven here? Maybe. Oh, he does have a mustache. Yeah. Hair. See, it's like. Oh, okay. I can see that. I can see it a little bit. Some like sometimes, look. not all look. the time, but. I think it's the. Does he have kind of like a longer, yeah. So he has a, it's the, I have kind of like an oval face, uh-huh. like kind of a long face uh-huh. and he has a prominent nose. Uh-huh. So that's what it is. Yeah. Anybody that has a prominent nose and an oval face is going to look probably similar to but me. It's the, but I've never thought that before. You did Until, until. Until the mustache? Yeah. Well, eat it up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yeah. What, <laughs> I, what I was sidebar. saying, it just, that, it just, it just dawned on me when I was looking at your profile was saying that it's not like, yes, it hasn't been like our life over the past nine years. Hasn't just been this like steady upward trajectory yeah. as life never, never yeah, really is. is. It's kind of like the stock market. It like, it, it you know, it, like it'll have dips and then, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll get better and then it'll have dips. And, um, but it really, it really does have to do with how, you, how you look at it though. Like in how you look at life, like the, some people, you know, you can choose to look at like everything happens to you. Nothing goes sure. well for you. Yeah. And because, but, but if that's where, if that's the brain pattern, if that's the thought process that you look at life, then even when things do go in your favor, you're going to look at it through a negative lens Sure. and think that, well, this is only going to, you know, this is only happening because blank, 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 or this is, this probably won't last. And then it won't. Yeah. Because that's your attitude yeah. and your, your thought process. And, uh, it's really different. Like, I, I'm not saying like, you just got to change it. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, it goes, it goes through. I've definitely have a lot more empathy as I've gotten older. I think back, like when I was younger, I used to, I used to think be more judgmental towards, towards that and just be like, why don't you just change? Like stop yeah. having a yeah. bad attitude or <laughs> stop having a, a yeah. bad mindset. And, yeah. and I've just, I've, I've realized o- o- over time that it's like, it's not that simple. Like no, there's never, it's going to take work, but like, isn't it worth it? Mm-hmm. Because you've, you've created these grooves in your head and your, and in your, in your, uh, neuroplasticity basically to think this one way for so long that it's gonna take time to 
start new grooves and, and a new neural pathway. But it's the same thing with the gym. Like, yeah, it's not going to happen overnight, but it's just, you have to create like a daily discipline or around it. Uh, I do not wake up a positive poly. I have to, <laughs> <laughs> I don't positive poly. I, I don't, I don't wake up with, with just like sunshine coming in and, and thinking, and you know, I have to actively think like, go through a gratitude checklist of what I'm grateful for and start the day with gratitude to, to kind of format how the day is going to go. Cause if I don't do that, then I, it's very easily, it's very easy for me to, to go negative. I think it's easy for a lot of people to just like trend uh, in that way. So yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it's a, it's a daily practice and it's going to be, if, if that's not, how you've been operating for years, it's going to be difficult and it's going to take a while Very, probably yeah. mm-hmm. to, to, to do that, but it's well worth it. And, you know, I, I think a big part of it that can help is counsel- having a good counselor for sure that can help you kind of become aware of maybe self-destructing habits or thought patterns. And like gives you, gives you proper homework to do mm-hmm. outside of, your sessions with them yeah. and holds you accountable to that homework. Yeah. That's key. It's just like, we all have different upbringings. We all have different yeah. life that we've experienced and, and have gone through. Mm-hmm. And some people's have been worse mm-hmm. and some people's have been better. Mm-hmm. And it is what it is. It, it really is. It is what it is. <laughs> like and it's like, that's life's just not like, fair. life isn't fair. <laughs> you I, know? Think I, I think I've said this on here before, but my college, the head of my college dance department would always be like, life's not fair. Get over it. And that's, it's like, <laughs> it's like, well, that's, that's kind of harsh, but it's like, but it's true. What are you, you're going to sit here and be like, that's not fair that that person uh, was raised in a, in a, in a family with two loving parents who were also rich and gave them a bunch of money and they didn't have to work. Like they didn't have to pay for their college and blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And you can do that all day long but what does it get you? Right. You have your life to live. Right. And you can't change it. Right. Complaining about so it. You might and, as well just, and, and you might as well just, just work, do on, some, work on you. Yeah. And do, change and just you. like live the best life you can. Yeah. And just like, and look for, look for what is, what you are grateful for, what you do have. And, Absolutely. uh, and start to, to reprogram because the grass is always greener and people are probably looking at you and certain things of your, of your life and aspects of your life and thinking sure. like, man, that must be nice. Yeah. And I'm, you know, and probably there are like comparison in that way. And it's, um, it's always both. It's both. It's both. I don't know where, I don't know what I'm, what, what both is. But <laughs> <laughs> I just meant like <laughs> it's, um, there's, o- there's always, yeah, like we always like want the, what we don't have. Yeah, and there's things thing. that are difficult and there's things that we can, that are great. Yeah. Pregnancy has made me, has actually made me more, because you were saying how like you have to wake up and be intentional and I feel like for some reason, especially in this back half of pregnancy, even though I'm like very over it, mm-hmm. I have been, I literally feel like I wake up with like a smile on my face, like I'm so blessed. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, and the, almost the first thought like when I open up my eyes and I, it's like automatically the first thought I have is like, thank you. Thank you, God. Mm. Um, and that hasn't always been, that hasn't always been the case. And I think there is definitely something about, because uh, he, baby has like, he's almost always moving around when I wake up. And I think that's a, that's a part of it where it's like, it's kind of the first thing that I notice when I'm waking up and that like triggers my immense gratitude and then I'm like laying there thinking about all the things I'm grateful for and then I have a great day usually (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah priming your day it really it really does make a difference like I'm I'm somebody who very easily wants to just reach for my phone and look through emails and, and DMS and stuff. And, uh, uh, uh. and, and, and think, you know, cause it, but I, so I have to actively make myself not do that and choose to go through like that gratitude checklist, uh, and then start with like, whether it's prayer or, uh, you know, a word, um, or the Bible or a book, uh, something that just kind of gets me in a better in, in a good state. 
uh, in the beginning. And I definitely notice the difference when I do do that and when I don't do that. It's major. And even the words you use throughout the day, I'm, I'm not like, this is kind of, I don't know, I feel like sometimes this could be controversial, but it's like, if you're constantly, when someone asks you how you are and you say, I'm okay, you're never really going to feel like you're more than okay. Yeah. Every, every single day, I'm doing okay. I'm fine. Yeah. I'm like, are you ever good? Are you or ever, are you ever I'm great? I'm getting by. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting by, like, yeah. are you always going to get, you're always going to get by then. Yeah. I do. I do believe in that. I mean, there's, there's literal science and like, like biology towards yeah. your words. Yeah. And, and so I, if you also, another big one, I'm tired. If you mm, say that you're tired all yeah. the time, I'm stressed. I'm stressed. I'm anxious. I'm anxious. I'm yeah. tired. I, and it, it, but let me, let me just quick interject. Yeah, go for it. Like that, in a, in a safe space where you're, where you're sharing with someone who's going to help you with those things. Right. That's a different thing. Yep. That's not what I'm talking. I'm not saying bottle up your feelings and be fake. Right. I'm saying, you know, when you're at work and people ask you how you are, if you're, yeah, if your standard answer is <laughs> I'm getting by, I'm okay. You're, I'm that's, tired. A, that's the only way you're ever going to feel. Yeah. In my opinion. Again, that, that comes, that comes with very intentional practice as well mm -hmm. of being, very cognizant of every word that comes out of your mouth, mm -hmm. uh, as well as your thoughts. And that's, that's also can be very easy to just like, let those go down the, the typical patterns. But I think that the quicker and the more like aware you are of those and, and realize how powerful the, that is like, especially your words, mm -hmm. your words, I think like you can catch those a little bit easier than your thoughts uh, at times. And so just being very, very, very cognizant of what you are saying and putting out there. Literally thinking about like, if everything that came out of my yes. mouth were to come true or be true, or like that would be, if I'm literally creating my life with the words that come out of my mouth, what would I, would I say what I'm saying? Yeah. If it happened immediately, uh -huh. because and it, uh, essentially it's not, maybe it's not going to happen immediately and it probably won't, but over time, over time, it, it certainly will. Mm -hmm. It has for our life, mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, that's always just a reminder. And same with prayer. Like I, I read this book by John Mark Comer, uh, who's just a phenomenal writer. He wrote um, "Ruthless El Elimination of Hurry." Is that right? Ruthless, mm -hmm. Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. One of my favorite books. Mm -hmm. And then he, I, he just has a new one um, that that came out that I'm reading through, and talking about just like on your downtime, like when you're, if you're like in a shower or whatever, instead like intentionally choosing if, this, you know, if you, you know, if you believe in God, if you believe in a higher power, whatever, I think, you know, whether you, I think prayer just in general is uh, just super powerful. Absolutely. Like choosing to use that time to like pray and release over maybe if you're going through a hard, hard day, like to release it, if you're going through a good day to be thankful for it. Um, but like prayer can also, it, it, it is like choosing to basically build that relationship as well as, um, have those moments of a prayer time to put yourself in a better state gratitude wise. Mm -hmm. Um, or, or just like, stress wise, if you just to like, uh, I think, you know, part of prayer is, is being thankful and, and, and having gratitude, but also the other part is like releasing any like junk and releasing any stress, anxiety, depression, and, or, or sin, or, mm -hmm. you know, things to, to re like release. Uh, and they're asking for, for help with those things. Yes. Having, yes, exactly. And we're back. We had to take a quick call uh, <laughs> that I forgot about. And it went great. Excited for you guys. It's it's actually in regards to our following um, and something we're doing for you guys. So I'm excited for that. It'll be fun. On the back end of this, we thought it'd be fun to put into Jet, Chat GPT, like what Chat GPT would give us if we put in what is the best relationship advice. Yeah. Like so, how good is ChatGPT's relationship advice? Yes, so we're gonna or mar marriage advice. We're we're Since gonna it's our anniversary. Go through ChatGPT's 
relationship advice and see if we agree or disagree with it. And like, yeah, so because I think there's a lot of people that it's like they're just trying to affordably learn. So they Google stuff. Mm-hmm. Is it actually so, helpful? Shall we? Not? Let's get going. First one is prioritize communication. Open and honest dialogue is crucial. Share your thoughts, feelings, and concerns regularly. I couldn't agree more, chat be- 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 <laughs> What? <laughs> couldn't agree more, chat GPT. Yeah, I, w- I would agree too. I think communication is really, really important. I know it's such, uh, it's such a like stereotypical, stereotypical answer, cliche answer, answer and so cliche and people are probably like, yeah, okay. But what I, I do think though is like communication is so broad yeah, what so you to have expect- to what you have to do is have uncomfortable conversations. You can't sweep things under the rug ever or go long periods of time ha- having resentment or something that you're holding in that the other person is doing that you're just refusing or that they don't know about to talk about yeah. or think that they should know about that they're not doing anything about. If you haven't said anything or maybe you said something once and, and then you're expecting them to always know that from that point on. Uh-huh. Yeah. We, we've had, we've had many a conversation around the same topic many a times. Yeah. Cause sometimes I'll just forget, like, especially if like knowing each other's love languages, I think is a big one too. And so uh, something that is not a love language of mine is like words of affirmation. Um, but it is for her. I don't think that's not top of mind for me. And so sometimes I need a a reminder of like, Hey, just like remind me that I'm beautiful every now and then. (laughs) And I'm like, you're right. It's not that I don't think that it's just, uh, that's not top of mind to, to like say Mm -hmm. and verbalize a lot. And so something that I was actually thinking the other day about our son, it's like, I would love to teach him to if she, if they, if he has a good thought about somebody to act on it and say it out loud Mm -hmm. or text that person, Mm -hmm. like, cause a lot of times, like, you know, I'll have a thought about like, whether if we're scrolling or whatever, we have this like nice thought about a friend, a family member or something. And we just have the thought like, Oh, that person's, that person like never makes me feel like awkward. Like I've never, that person has always accepted me for who I am kind of mm, a thing. And it's mm-hmm. like, I just really appreciate that about that person. Say that to that person. It would make that person's day. Absolutely yeah. make that person's day. Yeah. And so even, to act even on Even small it. things of like when you're living your life and it's like, you can easily be like, oh, I love that. I love that girl's outfit. Go, go over and say it to her, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I like that guy's coat. Like, go over and say it to him. Mm-hmm. You know, like small, small things like that make a make a big difference. No, it really does. Number two, cultivate trust. Trust is the foundation of any lasting relationship. Be reliable, keep promises, and communicate transparently. Okay, so far he's na- uh, so far he or she is nailing it. <laughs> yeah, cultivate trust. That's major. major. And how do you do that? I think your it's wor- time. It, it's definitely time. It's because it's your words and your actions aligning consistently over a period of time. Yep. That is how you build trust. Actions aligning with words. If the actions start to deplete and you're just words, 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 mm-hmm. trust is going to deplete. You, imme- you, like might, you so might as quickly. well just say, you might as well just say the words of act, what you're actually going to do. And, yeah, it would, really, and it yeah, would be better. Just like, <laughs> like totally. I'm, I'm not going to do don't, that. Don't say things that you're you you're not going to do. Uh-huh. Maybe intentionally you're you're thinking that you will, yeah. but if you do that enough times, uh, do that enough times, you're also like breaking trust with yourself and confidence with yourself. And so, yeah, trust it's built in drops and lost in gallons, buckets, buckets, whatever. You can <laughs> use anything. Gallon-sized buckets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Number three, practice empathy. Try to understand your partner's perspective, especially during conflicts. This fosters compassion and connection. Yeah. Definitely, that's huge. Because uh, versus getting defensive, uh, it used to be, I mean, I I used to get very, very defensive. And honestly, watching Micah handle disagreements taught me how to be like, (laughs) I can see, I see what you're saying. I see where you're coming from. (laughs) It It is hard, but you have to remember like everybody is coming at something with a totally different life. Like they had a different upbringing, uh, maybe beliefs, uh, ideology, just like you, you have to have the more empathy for people, the better. It's not leaving people. It's not empathy. is not letting people off the hook. I think people think that or think empathy is weak. Sure. 
it's just having an, it's like having understanding of this person is operating out of their trauma and their past that they have gone through that I have not had to go through. Mm -hmm. Now you still, if it's something that they did wrong, it doesn't excuse the wrong, but it's at least having, it's just having understanding around that and, and like seeing like, oh, so you put the, di like you put the silverware away <laughs> this way because you, that's how you did growing up and that's what you saw growing up. Uh, I don't see the common sense about that. Like, I, I, <laughs> like that, that, that's not logical to me because why would you have them sticking up and, and you could, where you could hurt yourself as opposed to sticking them down? You know, and so that, it's not something that I think you do. Oh, this like, is just, oh. I, this is like something I was <laughs> riffing off of when I saw, uh, I just saw our, our, the dishes and I was like, so that's what made me think. I'm like saying something like that. It's sure. just uh, like a silly, it could be a very sure silly argument and maybe it is small, but at least have the conversation around it and then it doesn't become the, a, a bigger thing and you know. But also like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Do you prefer the silverware down? I think the silverware down makes more sense. I think I put the silverware up because I think it's going to get cleaner that way. I, I, tr I truly did not notice. I, but yeah, uh, for me, I'm like, you put it down because if you're going to go and grab the silverware, once they're clean, you're going to be grabbing them from the like fork and the head and all and the, the knives and the knives sticking well, up too. We don't, but we don't put sharp, only, only really the butter knives go in the... Like, yeah, that's true. Like sharp knives yeah. don't go into the dishwasher. Yeah. Because I have had that thought where I'm like, but I feel like I need the fork up like this so it gets cleaner. Now this is, here we are discussing. Okay, well, put in the comments <laughs> what you do. What's, what do you do? Do you put it, I, I, I didn't intend for this to, to actually be the conversation. I don't care either way, to be honest. I, that's not something that I'm passionate about. Passionate about. That was just like an example. Maintain connection. Regularly engage in activities together, whether it's date nights or simple daily rituals, keep the bond strong. Yeah, that's, yeah, I agree. I think that's something that's we're, we're even going to need to be even more intentional about when we have our kid is finding time for us to stay in love. <laughs> that sounds insane, but like to be in love, with, don't forget to be in love with your partner. I've, I, that was just an advice that we got from a midwife is like, don't, don't forget to be in love with your partner because everything is going to become about your kid. And then it can be very easy for that to just basically be the next 18 years of your life. Mm -hmm. And that's not how it started. So, well, this one is kind of in line with that. It says build a strong friendship. A solid friendship is the backbone of a great romantic relationship. Enjoy each other's company and have fun together. Yep. It's like those go hand in hand. I couldn't agree more. I think having levity in your, in your relationship, have fun. Don't go a day without laughing. Like have fun in your, your relationship. Go ever, like, do not go a day without laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. When you laugh together, it does something connection, connection wise. It does. it does something to your soul. Yeah. It really does bring you together. And you could be even going through like a, a stressful time. Like we're paying out of pocket for this whole pregnancy. And these, we're just getting these random bills that we, they're not communicating about and haven't communicated what the, like what it actually is. And it's, you know, it can just be a, a bit frustrating and just be like, you know, where, Hey, they're not doing the first, they're not doing the first, uh, advice here. They're not communicating. So, <laughs> you know, there's some issues there. But like even even in that, if you find space to to laugh or make a joke, just to like create that levity, life is so we life is so it's serious. Serious enough. It's so serious, yeah. And it can be so stressful at times. And there's enough of that to go around. You don't have to try to make life serious. You don't have to try to make <laughs> yeah. life stressful. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so it, I think, as much as you can to have have fun in your relationship, it will. Um, just create a much better life and relationship. Yeah, absolutely. Share goals and values. Align on key life goals and values. Having a shared vision helps navigate challenges and keeps you united. I agree. That's a good one. Keep the spark alive. Make an effort to romance each other, whether through surprises, thoughtful gestures, or shared adventures. Keep the spark alive. Yeah. I never really liked the phrase, keep the spark alive. Because it I always equates to sex. Kind of. And I think like what a spark is changes a lot when you're depending on the phase of relationship that you're in. Um, 
but I do, I do agree. Like, you know, little, like little gestures, little like sh- shared adventures, I think is a big, is a big one. That's why I love traveling so much Yeah, with you just cause it's fun. And it's like something new that we can do together. Mm-hmm. Like what, what is a, what is a spark, you know, was different at the beginning of our relationship than it is now. Yeah. And a spark to like a spark can literally be just like changing up, changing, doing something different for the day. You know, because we can get in routine where every day becomes like Groundhog's Day, (laughs) Um, which, you know, you can't have every day be be different. And and like uh, there's there's benefit to that. Of course, of course. Uh, But yeah, I think a spark could be like a spontaneous, uh, you know, going and doing doing something uh, skydiving. I don't know. That's the first thing that came to mind. But like, but even, even literally like we almost never buy coffee out. Like we make coffee at home yeah. every single day. <laughs> yeah. And so like today we went and we got coffee out and, just walked. and it's like, yeah. it was a small thing, but it was nice mm-hmm. and it was something different. Yeah. You know, so it doesn't even have to be something super dramatic. It doesn't dramatic. have to be something yeah, crazy. It's just like something to maybe change up the pattern or change up the quote unquote monotony, uh, of day to day manage conflict wisely disagreements are inevitable approach them constructively focusing on resolution rather than blame mm. yeah yeah resolution rather than blame I, some some marriage book i read was, you know, was talking about like do you want to be right or do you want to be in a happy marriage <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's like well uh, the second one yeah <laughs> and i really like to be right so <laughs> <laughs> yeah it, it 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 really is like I don't know. Like picking, do you think picking your battles is? Yeah. It just, it also just something, some of it just doesn't matter. Like yeah. It doesn't matter if, if I'm right. It matters if we can like come to a, to a resolution. It doesn't matter who was right mm-hmm. or if someone was last two support each other, be each other's biggest cheerleader, encourage one another in personal and professional endeavors. Could you say that just a little bit faster? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys can, are able to put it down to like 0.75 or 0.5 for when she's asking these questions, just so that you can, uh, you know, understand it. My, my diction was just fine. It's fast, but it's clear. Support each other. Okay. Say that one more time. Support each other. Uh-huh. Be each other's biggest cheerleader. Encourage one yeah. another in personal and professional endeavors. Yeah. I mean, that's, yeah, that's huge. And it, uh, as a, I'm sure as a parent too, like uh, we, we were just discussing this as like, I'm very blessed that I didn't have parents that, that didn't stifle me like in my weirdness and my, <laughs> my craziness. Mm-hmm. I never felt stifled at all or never felt like, Hey, tone it down or like, yeah. Hey, you're being a little you're much, you're being a bit much yeah. or reel it in or like, uh, you're just doing that for attention, like different things. Uh, they never did that. Yeah. Um, and so it allowed me to be authentically myself and ne- not feel like I have to be anybody else. Mm-hmm. And so I think that is that goes for a relationship too. It's like if somebody has a an idea or a business idea or something that they're really passionate about, or it doesn't matter if you think it's stupid or if you, like if they are if they believe in it and they like are really passionate about it you like you got to support them and if it crashes and burns it whatever but you're they'll doing learn. it together and they'll learn and then they'll yeah obviously there's a line of like of like i'm gonna you know spend all of our life savings on this said thing or whatever it may be of but. course being aligned <laughs> i think in that is probably a good idea <laughs> last one <laughs> embrace change recognize that both you and your partner will evolve over time stay open to these changes and adapt together these are all great, Chat GPT. Is they that the last good. one? Yeah, that was they. It gave ten. Good job. That was pretty good. Final button on on this list. It says, "Remember, every relationship requires effort, patience, and commitment. Staying connected and invested in each other's happiness is key to lasting love." I mean, yeah, I agree. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, yeah, if you just follow these, but you know, the thing is, is like these are all. It's all great information and great like advice it's like figuring out everybody it's going to be different for everybody. Right. What does that look and like? What does that look like tangibly Yeah. for each person? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, that's why I, I like communicators that can give tangible 
action steps or how can how can you uh, um, apply this tangibly mm -hmm. to your life mm -hmm. instead of just being these big sweeping mm -hmm. you know like advice mm -hmm. gurus which is it, it sounds good but how do you apply it directly to your life what does that look like yeah. exactly but that's what's going to be different for everybody that's too. what i think is so valuable about mentorship and and counseling and guidance is like if you have people in your corner who you get to know and who get to know you, mm. they can they can help whittle that down to something that can actually be applied to your life that's going to benefit you with where you are. Mm. You know, it's valuable when you're, especially if you're like first learning how to like change. Sounds funny, but it's like you almost have to learn how to grow and change. Mm. Because if you've never intentionally tried to like work on yourself or grow or change your thought patterns or change, respond differently to triggers or whatever it may be, mm -hmm. that's a hard, just like you were saying, it can be a hard, those can be hard changes to make, which is why a trusted counselor can be so helpful mm -hmm. because they can help you actually discern like, okay, I hear what you're saying, but how do I with what I'm dealing with, how do I apply that in in my life with what I need to work on, you know? Agreed. <laughs> I'm like, are you looking at me or through me? <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> I can't tell. Yes. Because yeah, like phrases like prioritize communication, cultivate trust, like it's all well and good, but what does that mean for yeah. how, how someone cultivates, how you and I cultivate trust could be completely different from how two other partners cultivate trust with each other, you know? So different for everyone well yeah and everybody like it, if somebody was cheated on it's like cultivating right. trust that is way different than right. somebody who's never had that Absolutely. or somebody who has had it in in past relationships and is is like how do you cultivate trust with somebody uh new in a relationship who hasn't cheated mm -hmm. on you but I've, mm -hmm. i i have this past trauma it's like it, it just that is a different journey than other people's is probably going to just take a little bit more time mm -hmm. it really does kind of, it, but uh, i think a lot of this is so it's so unsexy but it's time it, you just have to be willing to put time into anything that you want to be better at yeah time for if you want if you want uh to be successful in a business you have to be willing to give it time yeah and that could be five years. It could be 10 years. And the same thing with a relationship. It's like time with your spouse. You know, as long as you're doing your best each day or doing 1% better. <laughs> Again, even though that, it's like, personally, like, I'm, I'm like, what does that mean? What mm -hmm. does 1% better mean each right. day? It's like, how do, you, how do you quantify that? Of like, oh, did I, was I 1% better than I was yesterday? Like, what does that even mean? Yeah. Oh, I, I did the dishes today and I didn't do them yesterday. So <laughs> I think that's 1% better. But then like, it's like, maybe tomorrow I don't. So then am I 1% worse? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so wait, how do I, one, how, how do I top myself? Like I'm at 99% better. If I go 1%, now I'm 100% better, but I can't go over that. So now what? I, I think that's, you know, I think it's a great book. I, I, you know, I like the book, but that, that whole, that, I guess it's just like, the idea of like, I don't know. Well, like what, what, what were you about to say? I just think you're about it's, to argue against it. No, I, I just think it's doing whatever your best is that day. It's, it's doing your best that day. Yeah. I agree with that. Where it's like, okay, this was my capacity was this today. Mm -hmm. And I acted at the highest level of, of my capacity. Mm -hmm. I was, you know, I was kind to that medical billing person on the phone. <laughs> I was, Although you know, I didn't want to be, <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever that is. Yeah. And so I agree that it's hard to quantify. It's really just, do I feel good about how I, the choices I made, how I reacted to things, how I handled the things that came my way today? Like how, wh how do I feel about what, what, how I operated today. Yeah. Cause I don't think it's, it's human. Like as humans, it's, it's never like, it's never that like just slowly 1% better every single day. Like it's just not, it's not realistic. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think that I like the idea because it's like, okay, let me, 
Let me just try to do my best mm -hmm. today. And maybe that's worse than yesterday or maybe it's better. Yeah. And whatever that is, is, is fine. Yeah. It also kind of like takes you out of like the anxiety of the future and the potential like depression of the past. It's like feeling it's, it's being more present of like, what can I do today? It's like inch by inch is a cinch, but yard by yard, it gets real hard. It's like, it, so when, when you think, when you're thinking so much in, in the future that hasn't happened yet, it can, yeah, that's where a lot of the anxiety can happen or, or come in. And so it's like, what can I do today? What, how can I make this the best day? Mm -hmm. And maybe there's a lot of things that happen during the day that snowball that were not expected and it, you had to pivot, but that was the best that you could do. If it was the best that you could do, then that's it. Mm -hmm. Then the day, you know, the day is done. It wasn't a wasted day. Right. It was like, it was a day that happened and maybe it was not everything that it wasn't as productive as you would like to, to be, or mm -hmm. you didn't get the things done that you wanted it to be. But tomorrow is a new day. Exactly. And, you know, thank God for sleep. Cause I think it's meant to just reset us mm -hmm. and reset our, our brain and reset like, uh, just like the day of like, okay, that was kind of a crappy day. But tomorrow's going to be a new day and a different one. I think it's also, I mean, and this kind of goes back to the what you were saying about words is like, what 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 actually happened? Was it slightly annoying or was it a bigger deal than that? You know, because I think it can often be like things that are slightly annoying. We turn into like, oh, I've had the worst day when it's like, N -n no, you haven't. Like I have had the worst day. Yeah, like you spilled my coffee or like you had a you like your tire something your your mere tire blue or whatever. Like there's things that are just part of like life is full of little annoyances and little inconveniences. And when it's just like, yeah, it was slightly inconvenient versus like, oh, this has been, this is the worst. Like my, I'm having, this is like, I'm having a bad day. It's like, no, no, you're not. One, one kind of annoying thing happened. It doesn't have to be the whole day. Mm -hmm. Like being cognizant for me, I have to be very cognizant. Like I like to be very cognizant of that so that I'm like not escalating things to a level that's, that is unnecessary. It could be any time you are 39 weeks pregnant right now. Yes, and I am. It, it now it, I mean, it really could I'm be. Like, you can come any... out whenever <laughs> feel free to make yourself shown. We just had, yeah, we just had our, uh, our checkup today and he's 8.5 pounds right now. 39 weeks. He's eight pounds, four ounces. So Yeah. He's nice and healthy. Come on out. <laughs> Don't get too much bigger. Yeah, come on. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. And for, it's been four years. It feels like it's been, I don't know. It feels like, a, well, feels shorter, I've known you for 8.5 well, years. Well, it feels so. shorter and longer all at the same time, I think. Yeah, it does. It's definitely. But I'm very excited to have 60 more years. At least. Yeah. 94 yeah yeah oh i know it'd be cool to get to like a 70 year um uh anniversary but i'm gonna be 70 <laughs> i'd yeah. be 102 uh, you'd be 102 then i'd be 100 well no I'd, you said i'd be 100 i don't know how old we're having it's four right now it's so four right now so it'd be 60, 96 66 wait 96 66 more years uh, 66 okay so oh i'd be 100 so you'd be 102 yeah <laughs> Hey, and good health. Yeah. And good health. Maybe some stem my, cells. Let me eat my Mediterranean diet. Yeah. And, um. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, what, what are those? The blue zones? Uh-huh. Hey, it could happen. I'm, I, I'm, I'm down to celebrate a, a 70 year marriage. Yeah. At 102. That'd be so, awesome. Sounds good to me. As long as we're healthy. Yes. Just, yeah, yeah for sure. Well, as always, we like to end our podcast by first saying subscribe, comment, like. Uh, it really does help us out mm -hmm. when when you when when you all subscribe. If you if you enjoy it or share it with somebody that you feel like you know could benefit from or it, leave us a review if you're on a listening platform. Yeah, if you're listening, that makes a big difference as well. Yeah, it does. So if you yeah if you would be able to give us you know five stars. And a really great review. If you don't want to uh, leave a good review, you don't have to leave a review. <laughs> yeah, so then don't then don't leave yeah, one. Then don't one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but as always, we like to end our podcast by singing. Good. good. No, I feel like no. We can't start on the same note. Okay.
Wow. All right. We were supposed to let that just fly, but you, okay. <laughs> like that's happened like the past 17 times. No, it does. No, it hasn't. Like we always start on the same note. No. Uh, we like to end our podcast <laughs> by singing. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, hey, you, no. joined, you joined what? me. No, you joined me. No. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>